Hey guys, I'm back with another video. More specifically, I'm back with another Valentine's Day set. We're gonna be creating a set around this nail here. This is the thumbnail. I made a Instagram reel and YouTube short for this. So if you'd like to check that out, you can go there. Before we get started, I wanna ask if you do like this video to please give me a like and to subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into this. We're gonna start with the index and the pinky finger for now. It's gonna be the exact same steps for both nails. I really wanted to use this Marble Queen ink if you have not used it. These are amazing, they are from Dime Nails. Um, this is number two. As of right now, when I post this video, they do still have these inks on their website, but it's gonna be her final restock of these inks. She said she's trying to look for a different manufacturer, so she's not gonna have these once these sell out. So if you're interested, hurry and go get some now before they sell out. Okay, so I'm just showing you the products that we're gonna be using today. Any product that I use, I'm gonna go ahead and link in the description bar below, so if you're interested, you can check there. I'm gonna start off by applying two coats of this Perfect White from Madame Glam. Um, I do have a coupon code for Madame Glam, so if you would like to check out any of their products, I will place my code here on the screen. It'll get you 40% off your entire order. Once you apply both of those coats, go ahead and cure those nails for 30 seconds. To use these inks, you're gonna to need to use it on top of a matte surface. So I got this matte top coat from Amazon. I'm gonna apply a thin layer of this and cure it for 60 seconds. The great thing about using these inks is you don't have to be perfect with them. I am gonna be literally just slapping these inks on the nail and then I'm gonna take some acetone. I believe it was 100% acetone and I'm just gonna be starting to create my marble. And as you saw, the brush that I'm using is also from Dime Nails. This actually came with the set if you bought it as a collection. But you can also buy this individually if you'd like. Yeah, so you're just going to go in with as many layers as you'd like. As you can see, I'm working through several layers. And the key, at least for what I've been doing that has been working for me, is when you dip your brush into the acetone, don't dry it off completely before going in. I still leave it sort of soaked. Um, so that way the inks will move along with the liquid, if that makes sense. I think you can kind of see it here, what I'm talking about. Also, in case you're wondering, it does have to be used with acetone. I did try alcohol before and it did nothing, so make sure you're using 100% acetone. Once you are satisfied with your marble, we're gonna go in with this white gel paint, also from Madame Glam, and we're gonna start creating some hearts. These hearts are all gonna be different sizes and different directions, so just have fun with it and place it wherever you'd like. I also do find it much easier to create hearts using a dotting tool, so try that if you are struggling. I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out, and once I finish the hearts for both nails, I will come back. Okay, I finished both nails and I cured them for 60 seconds. Madame Glam gel paints do take 60 seconds to cure, so just keep that in mind. I then went in with this gel from Red Iguana. I believe this is also similar to like a gel paint, um, but I use this to outline all of my hearts.
Once both nails were done, I went in with this top coat also from Dime Nails and I went ahead and added this to them and cured them for 30 seconds. This top coat is amazing. It is so shiny. It is so beautiful. Moving on to the middle and ring finger, I'm going to go ahead and apply two coats of the white gel polish as well and cure those for 30 seconds each. I am going to be adding rhinestones and little nail charms to the nails, so I'm going to be using the top coat for this nail to adhere the nail charm. And you're going to see I placed this heart in this direction, but ended up redoing the nail because I meant to do the heart facing the other way. And right here is actually where I realized that I did it wrong, so <laughs> I went ahead and changed that really quick. For this other nail, I used a mixture of top coat and rhinestone glue from McCart um, to adhere these charms. And I really loved the way these popped on the white background. I did get these uh, rose gold charms from Shein, I believe. If I could find that, I'll make sure to link it. Once I added those, I went ahead and added top coat on the rest of the nail again and cured everything for 60 seconds. Lastly, I placed some base coat on this palette here and I'm taking this purple glitter that I got from Amazon and I'm gonna just take my brush, dip it into the base coat and then dip into the glitter just to kind of disperse the glitter thinly along this nail. I then cured that for 30 seconds and added one more layer of top coat. And that is the last step for this set. I really, really love the way this came out. I wanted to do another Valentine's set, but I didn't want to do another typical pink set. I really hope you guys do like this. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me. And I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.